Well, folks, today marks the one-year anniversary since the largest and coolest protest in Canadian history, the Freedom Convoy. One year since all those glorious trucks and humans converged on the streets of Ottawa and across every city in this great nation to let the government know we've had enough. One year since people of all different nationalities and backgrounds linked arms and inspired the rest of the world to do the same. One year since we turned the tides and ended the mandates with one of the coolest nationwide protests in history. I remember all the beautiful smiles and tears as we drove across this great nation towards the capital to put an end to the division. You couldn't drive more than five to 10 kilometers down the freeway without seeing large clusters of people with their signs and hopes for a brighter future in Canada. Now we might not all agree on the same things, but if there's one thing we can agree on is that this was the moment when every grassroots Canadian had finally had enough of the divisive rhetoric in this country from the prime minister known as Justin Trudeau. Roll it. Mais il y a aussi des gens qui sont farouchement opposés à la vaccination. Qui sont extrémistes. Qui ne croient pas dans la science, qui sont souvent misogynes, qui sont souvent racistes aussi. Et là, il faut faire un choix en tant que leader, en tant que pays. Est-ce qu'on est qu tolère ça? Ottawa police say they are preparing, but they don't know how many protesters might show up or how long they might stay. Demanding the federal government reverse the vaccine mandate. The government says it will not back down. In terms of a leader as a country, do we tolerate these people? It's like, tolerate you? Now you do sound like him. No, the small fringe minority on their way to Ottawa holding unacceptable uh, views. Canada's working class has finally rebelled after years of relentless abuse. On this Saturday night, truckers roll into Ottawa, hauling their anti-vaccine mandate message. Prime Minister has just tweeted that he has tested positive for COVID-19. O'Toole is out as the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. Jason Kenney, the Premier of Alberta, Canada, announced that vaccine passport requirements in the province are over, signaling a major win for the truckers' freedom convoy. As of midnight last night, Alberta has lifted basically all of the remaining public health restrictions that were in place. You got it! 
But the government of Saskatchewan lifted all pandemic restrictions Monday morning. A declaration that COVID is over. The Prime Minister invoking the Emergencies Act for the first time in history. Thanks for watching and please remember to share this video so others can experience that same sense of pride and unity that we all felt during the convoy because that is what I truly believe Canadians are all about. None of this divisive who's got a jab and who doesn't shit, <laughs> right? Okay, thanks folks. Catch you in the next one.